I've been with BP for about two and a half years working with their competency assessment program on their SOR, safety and operational risk critical roles. Prior to that, I was in the Navy. I spent uh, 25 years uh, flying uh, F-14, F-18 tactical aircraft off of aircraft carriers. For training purposes, the military actually has a leg up on uh, business world because we spend a lot of our time training and hopefully very little time actually executing that training because if we have to do that, then things have gone horribly wrong. You're constantly being assessed for your competency in naval aviation, we're constantly graded every time we land on board a carrier. You're constantly looking at yourself with an eye towards critical self-assessment, always trying to improve, always trying to remove the errors that are naturally going to come. There's no such thing as a perfect flight. It's all about error management. And it's those principles of error management and bringing the crew resource management into the normal everyday workforce and uh, operational procedures, which is where BP is really making great strides in strengthening their barriers and decreasing the risk in their operations. The oil and gas industry have gone a long way into reducing mishaps and accidents due to engineering problems. They've engineered out the possible mistakes that folks can make. The next major obstacle is the human factor in all these uh, accidents and incidents that can happen, whether it's communication, poor communication, poor decision making, lack of situational awareness. BP, in partnering with Maersk Training, is bringing together our drilling contractors and our service providers to get an immersive training experience. Maersk Training has two facilities that are gonna offer this performance enhancement training. One is in Svenborg, Denmark. The other is here in Houston, Texas. My job is to make sure that our BP crews get the operational training that they need so that they can handle any contingency that happens in the offshore environment. We have some of the best technical training in the industry. What this facility offers is the ability to bring these technicians together, these very technically proficient folks, and put them in an operational environment and give them challenges where they can exercise their decision making, their communication, and working together. Are you ready to close choke? I am ready. Three, two, one, go. Counting time. Pumps ramping down. A lot of people will go through their entire career and never have an issue with a well. They may never have a well control incident. They may never run into a challenging situation. This training guarantees that they will have that situation. And by having that situation, they'll go through the procedures. They'll go through their checklists. They'll make their phone calls. They'll feel the pressure. They'll feel the dynamic tension between what's going on the rig floor and the bridge. And they'll have the confidence to know how to handle that situation. And it's incorrect. I did a mistake. You need to close the boost and just, just line us up on standby piece. Yeah. They're building the muscle memory to handle these emergencies so that they go, I know how to do this. I did this in the simulator. I made this mistake in the simulator. I'm not going to do it again out here in operations. These SOPs are the way we're going to do our business. So they are absolutely valid for the for the well we're about to, to drill. So please put a lot of focus in them because you're going to be executing them on the simulator. The kinds of situations that they bring into here are generally based on the type of well that the individual crew is drilling. If we have a Gulf of Mexico crew that are going to be coming in, they're going to say, what's the next well that you're going to drill? And they'll take the engineering specifics for that well, put it in there, and look at the potential problems that that well may offer. Additionally, they will bring in random emergencies such as loss of power, high seas, bad weather, fuel contamination, in addition to the anomalies that could happen down the hole. As an example, uh, Maersk Discoverer was the first crew that went through the Svenborg facility from BP. A couple weeks after they had their performance enhancement training, they ran into a downhole issue and they were able to handle it effectively, quickly, and minimize the issues surrounding it. And they were able to tie it directly back to some of the situations that they had at the Svenborg training. Training like this really helps BP in any environment. After their training with the Maersk Discover crew at the Svenborg facility, the Maersk Discover crew went out and had a nine well phase that they had to drill. They did it without any significant operational or safety issues throughout the entire time. They were able to accomplish that 114 days ahead of schedule, 40% under budget. One of BP's core values is one team, and nothing embodies that one team principle more than what goes on in this facility. BP can't do this by themselves. We have to work with our drilling partners. We have to work inside the industry. And this partnership with Maris Training and bringing our drilling contractors in to work together and build as a team is vitally important to bringing down accidents and incidents. It's all about doing things better and safer. And that's what BP is really striving to do.